glasses. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? I am your host, H. Foley, coming at you from beautiful Astoria, Queens. My co-host is coming at you from an undisclosed location somewhere in southern New Jersey. We're not sure where. Down in the bunker, baby. Very tight lid on it, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Kippy James Ryan. Kippy, tell these bozos what they need to know. I, love, I like how you're doing like 90s game show host for this all, all of a sudden. Kippy, hit him with the prizes. Yeah. <laughs> Relax. Uh, guys, just thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video is available on YouTube. You can uh, subscribe there as well. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. And ladies I'm, and gentlemen. Let me, let me kick it back to H. Foley, everybody. <laughs> Folks, it's 5.03, traffic a little jammed up on the Van Wick. Uh, <laughs> gang, I'm going to tell you right now, New York City, all right, we're in peak week here. That's what they're calling it during this coronavirus. And we went out and got one of the best we could possibly get. We're treating it like sweeps week, all right, because we got a rock star in the building today. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to say. One of the funniest people I know, absolutely brilliant stand-up comedian. You've seen her on Guy Code. You've seen her on Girl Code. And this I just saw, Hot Ones. She's got a Hot Ones. Oh. This kid's an icon. We're talking <laughs> legit famous here right now, Kippy. You got Gaga, and you got the kid right here. Ladies and gentlemen, so happy to have her here. She's also the host of an amazing podcast, Secret Keepers. Ladies and gentlemen, Carly Aquilino, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Foley, I love when you intro me. Thank you. When we do shows together, I always, I, I love it. I love it. You I always want, I always want people to feel good. And there's never a time that I don't mean it. You know what I mean? Cause that's the way I intro everybody. We don't have anybody on here that we don't genuinely love and like, you know, generally respect. And even when, and when I'm hosting, you can always tell who I'm phoning in for and who I'm not. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Please welcome to the stage, whatever. He's he's okay. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. He's never done anything. I've been, him. I don't know, but like he's, he, he, he's, he's, he gives great, he's forgotten my name <laughs> recently. Like I've been best friends with him for nine years. We've been working together. Kelvin Every, Bryan, I, everybody. Kelvin he, Bryan. He made eye contact with me and just completely blanked on my name, like within the calendar year. And you have the easiest name. Easy of two first names. He could have put them in any order. You know what I mean? He could have just went like Ryan, Kevin, J anything. He just got yeah. Everybody gets the red carpet but me. Kevin, Kevin, everybody. Kevin, Kevin. I think that stuff's fun, though. I love, I love when, like, fucked up shit happens. As you when... just knock something over on your desk. <laughs> you spilled a drink for sure. No, I, was, I spilled this. My girlfriend's little Chanel. Oh, how cute. Yeah. I think Your we bought it at like Central Park luxurious. or something. Luxurious. Hmm? Your apartment looks very luxurious. Thank you. It's all it's all my lady. She works in interior design. Oh, I would wow. be uh, sleeping in a sleeping bag at a pizza place if it wasn't for her. <laughs> she does she does everything. Just ordered a couple new lamps off the old uh what is it, West Elm or whatever it's called? Oh, love West Elm. Yeah. Maybe Wayfair. I'm thinking of Wayfair. <laughs> no, Wayfair is trash. <laughs> it's a trashy, trashy version. Wayfair is for sure trash. Do you ever see there's like there's like Instagram accounts or like you know blogs or whatever dedicated to like reality, like Wayfair versus reality. Like they yeah. send the couch and the couch ends up only being like 25 inches long. That's and like so it's just, funny. It's, I get so many ads for Wayfair. I thought it was like a luxury brand, like Pottery Barn. Now I think they I think they do have some stuff that is you know yeah. nicer, but the most the most of it's like you're like oh a couch for 120 bucks this is gonna be great and then you get it <laughs> and it's it's literally for like dolls and children. <laughs> what is what is the level of of classy to trashy as far as those are concerned? West Elm would be the top. Uh, uh, between the two of them. No, like all of them, isn't because like That's, there's like big what? box stores. Yeah, I think it would be West yeah. Elm. West right. Elm Pottery Barn is really nice. Don't sleep on Pottery Barn. Really? Pottery Barn's nice. Yeah, Pottery Barn's like luxury. And then I'm trying to think, oh, Crate and Barrel, I feel like is nice. Ooh. CMB's nice. CMB ain't bad. <laughs> yeah, CB2. Yeah. C yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm well aware. I'm well I furnished an apartment or two. Where does uh where, where does uh Rena Center uh fall into that kind of <laughs> For Flanagan's. Volley's only got two more payments left on that left on his left on his couch. They gotta come take the mic from me in two seconds. I gotta get, I gotta get a payment in. 
I remember I remember when Bed Bath and Beyond was like really classy. Oh yeah. Are you from Foley? You're from Long Island? No, I'm from from outside of Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say Bed Bath and Beyond was like the shit and Fortune Off was the shit. Yeah, Fortune I don't know Off. That one. Fortune Off was like Sears. <laughs> Oh. Furniture. Yeah. I remember when Sears was hot. Shit. Oh, yeah. you, had a, you had a couple of shirts from Sears. You were closing deals at happy hour. I'll tell yeah. you that. <laughs> I you still were, You were doing I all right, right if you were at Sears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sears, was the, Sears was so cool and now it's like I think are I think are they all out of business or what? I think they are. Uh, I went to my local mall and like it's that the, the whole side <laughs> of that mall's just shut. Sears took out the whole side of the right. mall. It's Sears, JC Penny, like I Did think Penny's is still kicking. Penny's in my hometown. <laughs> wow. still Penny's ain't bad. You find a couple of deals on some fucking betting over at Penny's on a Saturday. Yeah. I, I always liked Sears, though, because it's like you get it's a one stop shop. I love this is like probably trashy, but I love being in a place where I'm like, I can buy clothes, but I can also buy a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe. It Lawnmower was perfect there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I got to find a weed whacker to go with these jeans. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to head down to the, They were always, all that stuff was always in the, on the bottom floor too. Remember oh, like yeah. below street level, you go down right. there. It was cooler in there. Like it felt temperature cooler. Right. It was, it was like the, the vague scent of fertilizer. You yeah. walk down there with your with your parents. You're like, what the fuck's going on right. down here? Yeah, they're like, go in the basement and get a lawnmower. And mm-hmm. get Who was the purchaser at Sears that was like, listen, <laughs> we got it. Well, you know, yeah, I'm sure we sell underwear, but what do you say we get into the mower business? <laughs> so many appliances. That's yeah, nice. what a, so crazy. What a crazy. Think about think about that now. If you go, if you tell people, you're like, yeah. See, like, try to tell us somebody was born in like '98. What Sears was? They were like, "What the oh, fuck?" Get yeah, yeah, back, like- to, back to school stuff in a leaf blower. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're ready for the whole fall. But I remember, uh, I remember, I remember like when like Woolworths was like was like a thing. You guys are too young to remember Jeez, Woolworths. Way Woolworths. Yeah, you're way too young. There was one left. They they went under. They didn't make it out of the '80s. I don't think. Were they like a Macy's? No, it was more like a more like a shitty Target. Like it was oh, like wow. imagine if Target was owned by like one guy managed all the targets. Like they were you all all of them like had just weird things. It was not not done well. You said that so sweetly. You were you were like, was it like a Macy's? Is that what it was like a William and Sonoma? Because hearing like Woolworths sounds yeah, you th- curious. It's like, yeah, that sounds like an old like a name. That's like an American, like J.G. Mm-hmm. Woolworth or whatever. Exactly. They, they so used to have a counter in there. I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off. They used to have a counter in there where you can like eat like a lunch counter. <laughs> That's, that's what we're talking about. That's how you know it's bad. If you can get lunch in the store. <laughs> Next to the mowers. Oh, that's added to the list. If you, if, if you could eat while shopping for trousers, you're right, right. Bad. Well, so that's you, like Costco. Like, there's always like a Pizza Hut in Target. Mm, yeah, Every I know. Time, but honestly, I've eaten there a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's like Inception of Trashy. You're eating in a Pizza Hut inside a Target. That's, <laughs> that's, that's like multiple level of fucking garbage. It's a Russian nesting doll of garbage right there. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, man. You're a little kid. You're walking through those department stores. You grab a fucking super pretzel, soft pretzel, and maybe an icy. Wow. That's fucking clean living right there. That's a treat. That's a treat. That would be like if, if me and my mom were going to have like a special day. We mm-hmm. would be- like Sears and yeah. get like a snack, walk around. That shit was awesome. You know what I always loved, and I know this is this is a really garbage thing of me. This is this is, shows how poor I am. But I used to love, even as a little kid, when we'd walk into like Bloomingdale's or Macy's or one of those department stores, and we'd walk through the perfume department. Yeah, I always loved coming through there. All the classy ladies selling perfume and stuff yeah. like that. Classy it ladies. smelled real good. <laughs> they always look nice. What do you I mean? Like, I, love, I just you. picture a I picture a fat eight year old Foley walking through, like, "Hey, look at these classy broads over here." Hey, Ma, get get a look at Doris, huh? And the new Estee Lauder. <laughs> Ma, how do I score with a classy broad like Elaine over here? <laughs> yeah, what? Classy. I mean, the women weren't like. They weren't like young ladies. No, that's no. what I'm saying. They, yeah, they were. They were like. They were like. You know, middle aged, older ladies. They always right. like dressed nice. They smelled good. Right. They didn't take any shit either. 
Right. Oh, yeah. If you didn't want to fucking spray, you were getting a spray. Yeah. yeah. That, was that was back when that was like a career. That was like, oh, she's right. a frag, you know, she's the she's the perfume lady down at Penny's. And that was like right. a, that was a thing. You could just, yeah. That wasn't for like people in community college or anything. Right. I feel like yeah. they always date at mobsters, those ladies. I always felt like that too. Right. They're, like, they're always dating a bookie or something like that. Oh, like, but, yeah, maybe. Like rich husbands or something. Mm. They do it to get out of the house or something. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I used to love that. Trashy, trashy times as a kid, and it was the best thing ever. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, our very special guest today is Carly Aquilino. Uh, Carly, Kevin, and I are going to ask you uh, a few questions here, and we're going to find out. Okay. Are, are you garbage? Okay. Holy, what do you? And think I'm saying no. What, dude? I'm looking at fucking exposed brick wall <laughs> with cool lighting. No, and she's drinking kombucha. What are you talking about? This is, she's a trendsetter, literally. I wasn't. I'm from Long Island. Oh, that's what I thought. See that? Yes, that's what I, I thought. You like, were from do you Long ever Island. Grow out of it? No, well, no. It's you can in change. You. you can change. Yeah. It's in you. You can get a little bit of cash. You can buy some nice things. Right. You but like, brick. you can. You can. Anybody can buy brick, right? right? But that doesn't. That doesn't clear. That doesn't clean slate the yeah, the, that the garbage. Doesn't get rid of your past. Yes. Right. Right. But yes. here's the here's the thing, and I mean this honestly. I'm gonna kiss your ass a little bit here. I mean this honestly. <laughs> okay. You you have something that's just cool about you. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Even if you do something trashy, it's always going to be classy. Like, let me give you an example. Okay. Uh, I love the way you dress. I think you dress so cool. Okay. And I think the last time we worked together, this is what she was wearing, Kippy. She had on a pair of cool jeans, but just regular jeans, like kind of like faded jeans, a black turtleneck, and a Dale Earnhardt t-shirt. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> now, listen, if you put that on me... <laughs> You look All like right. a pit crew guy. You look like a guy who, who changes the tires on Dale Earnhardt's car. If you put that on me, I'm selling oil paintings at a fucking gas station. <laughs> All right? And, dude, she looked so fucking cool wearing it. Thank you. So I'm saying classy, and I mean that 100%. I'm saying classy all the way. But I know we're going to find a little garbage under them fingernails. I guarantee I'm, that. I'm down for that. <laughs> <laughs> Kippy, you want to lead off? You want me to hit her with some of the some of the basics? I uh, hit her with some of the basics. Yeah. Where did you? What town did you grow up in? Long Island. I grew up in Comac in Suffolk County. Okay, oh, Suffolk. So I, I learned there's two counties. Suffolk's the trashy one or not trashy one? Well, it's all kind of dispersed. So Nassau is closer to the city. It's pretty much Queens. Okay. And then Suffolk, you have like the Hamptons. Okay, yeah. You have like some really nice areas, but the rest of it's just like whatever. It's just suburban. Where I'm from, like, there was no like, oh, we got to go to Comac to visit. We had a Target, a TJ Maxx, a Marshalls. Don't even get me started. You I love big Marshalls? Uh... I love that. My my wife is from Germany. She just moved. She's from Germany, and there's oh, a Marshalls in our neighborhood, and it's like she's she's there four times a day. <laughs> yeah. she, she's talking to the people stacking the shelves. She's like, "When do you get your good deliveries?" They're like Tuesdays. <laughs> Come in on Tuesday. It's fucking. Kippy told her it was Barney's. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Look around. Whatever you want. <laughs> love a Marshalls. Love a TJ Maxx. Love a Marshalls. Oh, love a good TJ Maxx, man. You find some nice stuff in there. Some yeah. finds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got the coats next to, next to the luggage. I love that. <laughs> yeah. It's the best. What about, you know, what's, you know what was, uh, was, like, was like premium when we were a kid, but I know it was garbage now, is uh, Burlington Coat Factory. I was just going to say Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> Head down to Burlington at the start of oh. December. Get a couple of winter coatsies on us. Dude, yeah. and Burlington then, is I, bad news. I always got winter coats at Burlington. And you know what else? I would, like, eat the snacks from Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> like, the snacks that they have. This is what I don't get. How many coats at the end of the winter did they throw away? Because that place was literally, it was like fucking, it just, it was like where they keep the Ark of the Covenant. It just went on forever right. of just right. fucking coats. So many fucking coats. I feel like they <laughs> never got rid of the old coats, though. They like yeah, kept the coat. they, they probably kept them. Yeah. Yeah, they kept them. I remember one time. I don't know why this was so my, was so out of character for my mom. This the coat factory just reminded me. She took us to a sock factory one time. She's like, "We're gonna get a deal." What? I, I legit, I legit remember being in the parking lot. I was like seven. I go, I'm like, "Mom, I'm not going into a fucking sock factory. There is no way in hell 
No way. I don't care. And we were we weren't poor. We had money. Like we, I grew up upper middle class. And she's like, we're going to a sock factory. I'm like, no, we're not. Socks. Yeah, she's like, we'll get a good deal. I'm like, what are you talking about? Good deal. Wait, did they make the socks there? Let's go to Penny's like a fucking gentleman and get a get a pair of Hanes. Where did you Where did you grow up? <laughs> yeah, Wuhan, China. Where the fuck? <laughs> where there's just a sock factory. <laughs> Get them fresh that way. Still hot when they come out of the <laughs> right, right off the press, my mom liked them. <laughs> Keep your feet warm. Put them right on. They were Still steaming. <laughs> that is so wild. <laughs> they made the switch. There's no way they made the socks there. They did, dude. It was a proper <laughs> factory, dude. It was Wait, a hold on. Factory. This fuck, Carly, this fucking guy walks around acting like he's a fucking Kennedy to me, <laughs> all right, because of the county he grew up in Pennsylvania. You're telling me you grew up near a sock factory? I don't know if we were near. Who are you, Rudy? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know if it was. I was seven. I don't have a sense of a good sense of direction, but I, I don't know if it was close. I've never seen it again. It wasn't like I drove by it on the way to school. Okay. I think I refused to go in. I think I rem- I think I legit refused to go in. And I think my mom might have went in, but I was like, I'll keep me in the station wagon, lady. No fucking chance. She was probably working there. Didn't want to <laughs> tell you, you fucking loser. It was I'm going to ask her about that. I'm going to add that you saying me realizing Burlington Coat Factory, Coat Factory, which just jogged that memory. I got to talk to her about that. Fucking <laughs> That's too funny. A sock factory. Oh. Folks, do you like fresh socks right off the press? <laughs> sure, we all do. Come on down to Lenny's Sock Factory. <laughs> we'll keep them warm for you. <laughs> what was the, uh, Carly, what was the name of the grocery store you went to growing up? That's a big wall, one. Wallbounds. I've never been. I've heard. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard. I've, heard. I've never been. Oh, was it nice? Be, or... Cut the connection. We're getting out of here. Wait, you never Wallbounds. Wallbounds? I've heard of it only from New Yorkers, though. Yeah, Wallbounds and then King Cullen, because Wallbounds went out of business, and then we went to King Cullen. King Cullen's classy. I've seen a couple of those out there on the island. Yeah. Not nice. too shabby. It's nice. It's like, King Cullen's kind of like if you were to go to, like, a key food, I feel like. Okay. okay. Maybe depending on the key food, though. Some of them are that's just... What, that's what we found out. Key foods are... Indiv- that's what we found out through this game. Key foods are individually owned. So oh, you go, you can go to a Key Foods and it'll be a fucking hole in the wall dump, yeah, or you go to a nice really, one. I've been to some really nice ones, and then I went to one that was like the the floor was like they didn't block it off, but it was a hundred percent like under construction. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping in wet concrete. Yeah, yeah. It was got a just hard hat on. <laughs> broken concrete and just broken tiles everywhere. Oh so my it god! Depends on the Key Foods. Well, you know what the biggest shock to me was when I got to this coming into the city and you guys being from the burbs, you, you get it too, is that every grocery store in New York City always has like four or five cats that patrol the place. <laughs> yeah, right? that's true. And what the, the scent of cat litter when you walk into a grocery store, my grocery store on the corner, that's the first thing that, that hits you when you walk in. Yeah. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing better. No. It's a bodega smell for sure, too. Yeah. Tough. It's so tough. I've no- the cat at my bodega. Ah, yeah, well, I, bodega nothing. cats are different. I like the bodega cat. His, yeah. Um, I like the... I like the- I like the cats at the grocery store too, but when you walk in and you get a you, you get a, a wave of fresh step slapped right. in your face. Yeah, you know it's I mean? so gross. Yeah. There is nothing better. I'm in the suburbs right now. There's honestly from being in the city for so long, there's nothing better than a suburban grocery store. The the oh. aisles are big, they're clean. There's only like ten people in the whole store. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, so, it's, everything. It's so nice. It's so refreshing. Yeah, it, I, I recently went to um, Wegmans. Ooh. In Brooklyn. Wegmans is fucking A+. Plus. It's sick. It's sick. Yeah, it's so good. There's a couple of those in, like, where I'm from, and it's like, we, it, that would be like a field trip. We're like, we're going to right. Wegmans. I'm like, I'm in. Let's go. Yeah, oh, they're on Christmas. I had rented a car, and he was like, what do you want to do with the car? And I was like, I want to go to Wegmans. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's, that's, that's garbage right that's there. Trashy. I love it. <laughs> Fuck, fuck exposed brick, the cool lights, uh, uh, the cool tattoos, anything. Trashy. It's true, it's true. If you get access to a vehicle and you go, you you can go anywhere on the eastern seaboard, what do you want to do? Babe, take me to Wegmans. Take me to Wegmans, that's it. That's Uh, funny. That reminds me of uh, uh, our buddy Brendan Stagelow. 
Yes. Right? Love him to death. Somebody one night at the club was asking him, if, you, if all of a sudden tomorrow you got $100 million, what's the first thing you would do? Do you know what Brendan's answer was? Oh, God. Go to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I love him to death, dude. Oh He's the best. Oh, my God. Disneyland. That's the equivalent of when you got a car, where do you want to go? I want to go to Wegmans. Let's I go. I want to go to Wegmans. Right, right. That's oh, that's so great. Funny. I want to go to Disneyland. That's too funny. All right. He's from Long Island, too. Yeah, he's yeah, he's he's Long Island. Yes. Trash. And he's he's not even he's not even close to getting out of it. He has leaned into it and he is really fucking embracing the trash. Oh, he's the best, man. It's so funny. We went to we just we were doing shows outside of the city at Levity Live a couple of the right before this all happened, we were there. And I drove him back, but every night, every night we would get to the toll and he wouldn't, he'd be like, oh, that's an expensive toll. And like, wouldn't even reach for change or money or anything. He'd be like, <laughs> he'd be like 16 bucks for the toll. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. And I'm sitting there like, yeah, I know, jerk off. What the fuck? <laughs> You're the feature. He was hosting. Well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> can't be. Um, all right. I got one. Did you have a fake Christmas tree growing up? Ooh. Um, Okay, yes. <laughs> we had a lot a- of Italian a lot of Italians have fake Christmas trees for some reason. Right. You you answered that like we were asking you about a murder. You were like, "Well, <laughs> listen, it's a I long mean- it's not what you think." Well, I, it, it isn't because I had we had two trees. We okay. had a fake one and a real one. Fake okay. one in like a different like a different living room or something. In a different room. Yeah. Class. That's classy. That is. I got to so give you that. Like, yeah, one in the like dining room and then one in the um TV room. Yeah. But which one did you put the presents under? The real the one presents, or the fake one? The presents went under the real one. All right. Okay. The fake the- one was like for display, but they had it up every year. That passed. You passed. That's all right. Okay. Okay. Two Christmas What's- trees is fucking classy though. That's a good look. I got to do that. Serious. Follow-up question to that. Do you remember what the latest date was that the Christmas tree and the Christmas decorations would come down? Um, usually my mom would do it the first week of January after the new year. Good. It's good. It all checks out. Pretty classy. It's pretty okay. clean. Okay. One final question on the Christmas tree. <laughs> Were there any colored lights on your Christmas tree? Yes. Always. Ooh. Always. All that, white. You go that, all white at Christmas. No, I love colored lights. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, they're trash. Compared to classic white lights is classy, classy. Yeah, but you, it's not Christmassy. Do you guys remember the ceramic lamps? They were they looked like Christmas trees, and they had the color little things yeah, on them. Yeah. Oh, that, that's those nice. Are garbage, but they're fucking awesome. They were fun. I, you could put the little like sticks in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my yeah. mom still puts it out to this day. It still Mine sits on too. like yeah, still sits on the windowsill of, of or something. <laughs> Mine yeah. does too. My yeah. mom hasn't got new Christmas decorations since '94. That's saying, the I'm, best. I'm though. legit same. She 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 makes like a she makes like a window display with like a band, yeah. and it's the same stuffing from since literally 1982. She's been right. putting like the, for like fake snow. I'm like, come on, what do we do? We haven't had company in six years. What are you doing, lady? Get a glove. Get in the game, will you? When I was a kid, my dad used to put trains up, like Lionel trains. We put them up around the Christmas tree. That was always weird to me. I'm sorry. You got <laughs> trains and Christmas. Get out of here. It's presents. It's rain. I love it. I love it. It's garbage. I love, I love trains. My yeah. son had a train, a train set too. Yeah, dude, like- they're great. But one year we didn't have any fake snow, so we used the, we used artificial <laughs> mashed potatoes. What? <laughs> no, uh, wait. What? What? Mashed potatoes from where? Artificial. What? You, the, the, the flakes that are in like a box. Oh, my God. That doesn't make it any better. The dog got into it. It was a whole big thing. <laughs> you decorated your house with depression food. Oh, my God. Fully. That's sadder than the fucking sock factory. Depression food. <laughs> Powdered <laughs> eggs in the tree. Yeah, what are you? You got fucking government cheese on the windowsills? What are you doing? Powdered eggs roasting at your door. The saddest gingerbread house ever. <laughs> oh, oh my god! It's just crackers. You know, you know what else was trashy on on Christmas? This turned into a Christmas edition. I love it. My dad, my dad did. He would go get a fucking third because my parents got divorced. So my mom kept kept ran a tight ship around Christmas. She'd be very traditional, whatever. My dad, he would buy like 
a 19 foot tree and then we'd literally have to cut it in half so it was it wasn't it didn't even have a point it was just like what <laughs> dude you cut it from the top we cut the whole top off why <laughs> that's you cut from the bottom you idiot I, I have no we use every year every year we had a flat top tree my favorite like, he looked like he was in fucking run dmc or so he had the fucking the box cut at the top it was like a bush yeah you, had a, you had a christmas bush you can't be Put the presents under the Christmas bush and shut up. <laughs> That's such a divorced dad thing. I, I know. He was trying. He was. I got to give him that. But he would also do tinsel on the tree, oh, which, was, yeah. which you, you would be picking up off the ground through August. Right. That right. shit got everywhere. Yeah, my mom used. My mom loved tinsel. Oh, I, I, we never got that. I never, um, even as a little kid, I was like, what the fuck is this shit? I know, it looks like shit. It, it does, would shock it me. It you, would always shock my fingers every time I touched yeah. it. <laughs> Fucking things biting me. You go out, you buy a tree, you spend hours <laughs> decorating it, letting it fall, whatever, and then you, you throw that shit. I, I never got yeah. it. It ruins it. I don't like it either. I have a question about something trashy that has to do with Christmas, kind of. If, if it is trashy or not. Lay it on us. Okay. Is canned cranberry sauce trashy? Dude, I cannot believe. We, we've talked about This has come up. Listen. On the show? Is, yes. Is it trashy? Like a week ago. Like a week ago. Not I had time. some a week ago. Wow. <laughs> is it trashy to us, to people like us? No, it's not. Okay. But I mean, if you go to the, you know, you're not going to the Rockefellers and you, for Thanksgiving and you're not going to get canned cranberry right. sauce, you know. Right. Because I, I always liked it. It's good. But then I'm like, literally, it's in the shape of a can. The lines like, are in it. You can you can yeah. see the expiration date on it. You're like, right. what is it's this? Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. But it is. I, I don't know. We, yeah, my family what. serves it questionable like thanksgiving christmas food that being like is this nice or is this not nice but I you gotta probably not nice you gotta chop it up and you gotta mix it up a little bit it is garbage but it is fucking delicious i had some literally a week ago with chicken cutlets i i can't believe you did you buy it at the store recently do they sell it all year round i thought it was like seasonal i don't even fuck with it on the on the holidays i don't know i had to order it on the dark web <laughs> <laughs> Foley's got a canned cranberry connect. He's got a plug. I gotta go through 4chain to get get my hands on it. <laughs> it's a passable. It is garbage. Well, it but it's acceptable. It's a passable, passable offense. Right. It's a traditional garbage. <laughs> yeah. Traditional right. garbage. Why we're on food, I got a couple. Um, yeah, let's keep moving through the house. I, I, I like this. This is fun. <clears throat> For food. When was the last time you had bagel bites? Oh, bagel bites? I haven't a had bagel bites in a very long time. Okay, Probably good. That's... Like three, four years. And I'm only saying that because I don't know how long. How about. long? That's good. That's acceptable. Very acceptable. Yeah. But I, I got like another. Them. They're good. I got another. When was the last time you had a Hot Pocket? Oh, I had a Hot Pocket like six months ago. <laughs> okay. What, <laughs> what kind was it? It was, okay, not my fault. I was <laughs> on the road. And I was staying in a, like, you know how they have, like, Holiday Inn Expresses? They yes. have, like, the corner of the hotel that, like, has snacks. and like, oh, That thing stinks. Stinks. Yeah. stinks. It stinks, but it's, like, most of the time when you come home late after a show and you're on the road, you're like, what am I going to fucking do? It's either this or 7-Eleven. It's um, mm -hmm. whatever. So the only hot thing they had was a Hot Pocket, which I always liked the pepperoni pizza. Oh, of course. Dude, that's, that's cool. If you're going to slum it, slum it with a pepperoni. Right. They're so good. But this one was ham and cheese, which it, it doesn't float my boat, but I did enjoy it. I ate yeah. the whole It's respectable. When Hot Pockets tried to do the light versions, like the lean lean pockets, oh, not buying them. get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Here. We're, we're yeah. not coming to you for that. I'm not buying a frozen, you know, burrito, essentially, for it to be <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Of course. How do you feel about frozen foods in general? You Can you do a lean cuisine or a hungry man or... Um, I don't mind them. I really don't. I don't eat them that much, but I I don't mind frozen food and I don't mind like dried like ramen and stuff like that. I still eat that stuff. Yeah, me too. I love it. It's garbage, but I I love it. It's you so uh good. you had mentioned seven and I, I I do forget too a lot of times on the road we are you know, when comics go on the road we're obviously forced to only we can only eat what's afforded available at certain times. 
Right, right. Um, but you saying 7-Eleven reminded me, have you ever had a taquito and or a chicken roller from 7-Eleven? From 7-Eleven, yes. I oh, had yeah. taquitos from 7-Eleven several times. Taquitos aren't too shabby. I mean, they'll They're hit actually, the spot. I know. Are they good? They're pretty good. They're, They're good. pretty good. They are. And, you know, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys, but I, <laughs> I've also had hot dogs from 7-Eleven. What, what am I, the an big asshole? bite? There's no shame in that. You're among friends here. Come on. Wow. I thought that, that, I thought that um, a hot dog from 7-Eleven is more shameful than a taquito. I, well, I think, I, see, I think, I think the thing with hot dogs from anywhere quickly like that, it's pretty shameful. It's like, if right. you're eating a but hot dog. But they're delicious. They're good. They're I so mean, good. I don't know what they do to that roller, man. That slow cooking, baby. They, Come they on. It. That's what they do. <laughs> they <laughs> never. It's never just been old, clean. it's just old hot dog juice. Everything <laughs> oh. is old, old hot dog juice, and it's, <laughs> I couldn't be happier. Oh, it's but great. Nothing kicks off the summer like a fucking Slurpee and a Big Bite. I'll oh, tell you that right it. now. I love, love the Slurpees, too. Dude, in high school one time, I went over to my buddy's house on like a 4th of July party or whatever, and his parents, we were in high, they rolled out a hot, they have, they own a hot dog roller. For like awesome. it was like a big Fourth of July birthday or party or whatever, so you're there all day eating, drinking. You just walk up to that hot dog roller, dude. There were wow. just hundreds of them spinning all day long. It was like the gates of heaven. It was fucking. <laughs> I didn't even know you. I didn't even know like a household could buy one of those things. Yeah, I thought you had to have a license or something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't a commercial know. Commercial driver's license. I don't know if they still do this now, but on that same tip, a big thing at parties for us when I was a kid is when, because every they always got kegs of beer. Kegs of beer yeah. was like oh, what yeah. was always at a party when I was a little kid. But for the kids, they would sometimes get a keg of root beer. Is that something that you guys did? Oh, I've never heard of a keg of root beer. We've, we've had that. <laughs> we've had that. Really? Yeah. I never even <laughs> ever have seen that. And as a kid, as like a seven-year-old, was the coolest oh. fucking thing. If you rolled up to a party, like a graduation party for like your cousin's friend or whatever, and you roll up and they're like, there's a keg of there's root beer over there, you're the, oh my God, that's that and a hot dog roller. Good night. You start handing out solo cups, taking money from the kids. Let's go. I said to my boyfriend, actually, I think it was yesterday, the day before, I was like, do you remember being a kid and you would go out to like, I don't know, Applebee's or something with your parents, one of those restaurants, and you would order a root beer and how fucking cool it felt <laughs> to drink it out of their beer bottle? Like, oh, I mean, yeah. Would think, oh, this six-year-old is hammered. <laughs> but I was like, it made me feel cool. Wow, I did totally. oh, the same thing. I would be like, maybe if I hide the label, they'll think I'm drinking a beer. Like, <laughs> like, right. like, like the table next to me was just going to be like, ah, oh, that, that family's letting the six-year-old drink a beer. You know what I mean? You're hitting on the waitress. <laughs> How long you worked there, huh? <laughs> Couple more pops for my boys, huh? That's too funny. What That's was the, so um, what was the, the orange juice situation growing up? What did, you, what did you guys do? Was it Tropicana? Was it Sunny Delight? Was it Tang? Was it Five Alive? Um, Where were we at? Mom, my mom never, ever bought Sunny Delight or any, anything like that. She wouldn't let us have it, but I wanted it so bad, but she wouldn't let us have it. Um, but she would buy Tropicana orange juice or Tropicana banana strawberry orange juice. Ooh, have that's you ever classy. had that one? I've had them all. I love so them. Good. That's wow, classy. That's I feel like I'm the only guy that was allowed to drink Sunny Delight when I was a kid. <laughs> you know how you know you know how you know Sunny Delight's bad and how trashy it is? You can find it not refrigerated at a grocery well, store. Yeah. Oh, Sometimes yeah. they just have it out. Right. There's like a box of it on the floor <laughs> in a bodega. Yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't even put it on a shelf. Ever. No. It that's doesn't garbage. get any doesn't get any shelf space. Yeah, it doesn't, there's no way it needs to be refrigerated, and there's no way it ever expires. Like, you could, that's like, you know how Twinkies never expire? Yeah. Honey D, no fucking way. Oh, uh, the apocalypse. <laughs> your mom let you, I, I can't believe your mom let you drink it. Fully, by wow. science. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I'm sure you've eaten enough Twinkies and drank enough Sunny D that you should have enough of those particles in you that you should be able to essentially live forever. You're immune to yeah. coronavirus. <laughs> you should, you, you should, your body should never deteriorate, actually. <laughs> they, can, they can send me to Mars with no spacesuit. <laughs> I'm not there walking around. Walking around. Hey, you guys got any sunny day up here? <laughs>
Yeah, I was not allowed Sunny D and I wasn't allowed Lunchables. And those two things broke my heart. Not to oh. eat them. Yeah, I was really? no Lunchables. No either. Lunchables. What? No way. I was getting those in high school because I was too old. Yeah. They didn't have those when I was a kid. I was, I was getting them in high school and college. Yeah, my mom would never, ever let me. No way. Yeah. Did you pack no. a lunch or did you buy lunch at school? Um, I, my mom would pack me a lunch, but I most of the time didn't like the lunch. My mom would make it, first of all, so embarrassing, the lunch that she made me. She would put like- Oh, I love it. Fresh, mo fresh mozzarella cheese <laughs> and um, roasted red peppers on like Italian bread and like, and like, um, like macaroni salad. I'm like, mom, I'm fucking 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That I'm was like, really you were like the weird foreign exchange student. Yeah. <laughs> she put a little shot of Zambuca in there for after, an espresso. I'm like, mom, I'm not a 65-year-old man. <laughs> shot of limoncello in there. <laughs> couple biscottis. You're sitting there at the table. <laughs> I'm like, she would send me to, like, my lunch bag would be like 14 fucking Tupperwares. I'm like, what is this? It's too funny. If you, you had Tupperware, if you, if you pulled out a thing at Tupperware at the lunch table, I was making him change seats. You weren't sitting next to me with the fucking it's Tupperware. It's embarrassing. Dude. So embarrassing. Can you give me chicken cutlets <laughs> to take to school? I'm like, what the? I can't even heat these. What are you I can't even eat these. That you're in the kitchen. Fine. You're back in the kitchen like, hey, Estelle, can you, can, you, can you heat up my mom's cutlets, please? Oh my God! The only kid at school with an any pasta course. I love it. That's, right. that's awesome. And this is gonna take my my um, garbage meter to a whole nother level. So my mom worked in the school in the cafeteria. That in, she was a lunch lady in my cafeteria in oh, my school, middle school. That's awesome. And she worked there for twenty years. And people would like go up to her, like other teachers, because I wouldn't want to sit in the same cafeteria as her. There were two. Mm -hmm. And the teachers that had duty in my cafeteria, they would go to my mom and be like, what are you sending her to school? <laughs> <laughs> She's got a hot bar over here. She's setting up fucking ch ch chafing dishes. Like catering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got sternos going. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. funny. Veal francaise for lunch. I love it. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. Some little mussels. You got some mussels and a red sauce going. <laughs> All right, let's stay in the house because this, so, this is so much fun. Let's go into the bathroom. Okay. Growing up, was it – first of all, did you have any carpet in your bathroom? Was your bathroom carpeted? No, um, other than like a bath mat. Very nice. What about like the soaps and stuff like that? What were you guys working with? Did you use bars, dial? Did you have bottles? Um, for the most part, it was uh, like a soap out of a soap dispenser. Like hand soap. Hand soap, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in the shower. Uh, I thought that was in the shower. I was going to be like, yikes. <laughs> yikes. Just no, Purell? On the sink, on the sink. And then okay. in the shower, bar soap. Yeah. I don't think we ever, my mom sold Avon, so we sometimes had like Avon products in the shower. Like, Yo, did, 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 she, did, she sell, did she sell Skin So Soft? Was that an Avon yes. product? Dude, yes. Dude, we that used the to spray? rock that. The yeah. clear bottle with the green yeah. top. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Very my. distinct smell. Skin so oh. soft. We used they used it to keep bugs away. It kept bugs away. So they <laughs> that's what they told us. That's we did the same thing. To us, that was like off. Skin so soft was like off. Oh, yeah. My. Yeah. I could still smell it now if I think oh, about yeah. it. It's like powder, like mu like musky powder. I it love takes, it. It takes me right back to the sock factory. <laughs> <laughs> the good, uh, the the good, good old days. days. <laughs> Life is uh, Americana, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm, must be cooking the ankle socks today. It smells delicious. I got one that I've never fully, me and you have never discussed. Um, <laughs> well, the impetus of this game just came from me and Foley just going through each other's houses and be like, this is fucking trash. But uh, I did, Foley, I never talked to you about, had you ever known anybody or in your family ever have like a cushioned uh, toilet seat? Oh, yeah. Dude, those, well, I, I, I remember cutting my ass on those things <laughs> because the fucking ring, <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah. The, where the plastic met was like a fucking switchblade. Right. <laughs> what was I, with they, what, what's that all about? I had um, a friend or someone in my life when I was young that had a mushy toilet seat. <laughs> and, like, um, I remember telling my mom, like, it's so comfortable. We should get one. My mom's like, that's disgusting. It's so gross. It's Looking so back. Gross. It's oh. so gross. It was, like, uh, 
co- the toilet seat cover that was like a carpet. Oh. Yeah, that's oh. fucking trash too, man. Oh. We had a few of those. I had a couple of those. I remember when a new one of those came in, you were like, ah, nice in here. <laughs> it was like room service just came in. <laughs> Dad must have hit the number. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> nice and fresh. We were so trashy, too. Did you guys have the toilet paper cozy? There was one roll of toilet paper on top of the toilet that had, oh. like, a crocheted thing on top of it. My mom had a special box for it. On top of the – for, for, for yeah. the one backup. Yeah, right. that's real. For the backup toilet paper. We just, right, I we stay- just left ours under the sink. I want to stay in the bathroom here. I want to hit you with a multiple choice question. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Um. I take this from a past experience that's happened at a friend of mine's house. All right. So adult life, you're staying over at a friend's house. Okay. Get up in the morning to brush your teeth. All right. When you brush your teeth, you knock their toothbrush on the floor. Now it doesn't go in the toilet, obviously, but it goes close to the toilet. Multiple choice. Do you A, tell the friend immediately. All right. And admit, admit what happened. B, just wash it off with scalding hot water and put it back and don't say anything to anybody or C none of the above. Just put it back and keep it moving. Like it never happened. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. How close to the toilet was it? It was, it's close enough. Like, you know, if the toilet was right next to the sink, it fell near the toilet. It could be in the circle in the P per, in the in the P perimeter, okay. if that's what you're asking. Yeah, because I was gonna say, but okay, yeah. Then I would tell the friend, a. Really. Yeah, I would tell the friend. I would be like, I dropped your, I dropped your to- toothbrush on the floor. Just FYI. Yeah, that's a full. Uh, this question seems like it's, it's you've done this first of all, full. <laughs> I did it to you friend, like five years it. ago. Yeah, he's like, so imagine if your friend... That's what I'm saying. This happened at your house five years ago. That's why I'm telling you. Uh, this is how you break the news to yeah. me? Yeah, you tell them. What, are they going to yell at you? Like, I, uh, toothbrush is a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. What about just rinsing it off in scalding hot water and putting it back? That's not... I think I would do that if it was just on the floor floor, but not if it yeah. was near the toilet. Hmm. So yeah. I'm garbage. Right. Or Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She was right. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. No way. Right. No way I, got, around it. I have one from a, from a listener uh, wants to know. This is from Gutter Sloth, a, a fan of the podcast. Did you ever own a tire swing? Was there a tire swing in your backyard? No. I wish. <sighs> oh, man. How cool is that? That was sick. That was so But they cool. were always hillbillies, those people. Oh, yeah. Had the tire yeah. Swing. yeah. No, I don't know anybody that actually had a tire swing. Yeah. Yeah, because no. I, I don't think people in New York had tire swings. I think people, like, in the South have tire swings, maybe. And you got to be a pretty reckless parent to have one of those things. Cause right. I remember them being, like, not, not like where it's flat, but where the tire's, like, standing straight up, and it's literally just a rope yeah, tied to a tree where you would right. sit on it like a motorcycle and right. swing back and forth. And it's like, how much weight can this even take? <laughs> yeah, there's no they, – they weren't tested by anybody. On yeah. a branch. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, I always wanted a tire swing, and I always wanted a trampoline. I never had either of those. I had trampolines were garbage. Trampolines were big time garbage. I had one growing up, baby. It was fucking (laughs) great. (laughs) You'd run off the school bus like three or four. You'd just dive onto that thing for hours. Yeah, I think it's so dangerous. So dangerous. Insanely dangerous. Dangerous toy. No, we. I mean, my neighbor like cracked her head open on it. Like it was like yeah, yeah, like I I mean, we got hurt. Yeah. I went on a friend's trampoline when I was little and I, and I cut it, but one of the springs went all the way up into my foot and I kicked my leg to think that it would come out, but it sliced my whole foot. Jesus. Uh, yeah. And that was like Shit. the first and only time I was ever on a fucking trampoline. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's crazy. Looking back, that's insane. It's just, so dangerous. You see what they do now? They dig holes and then put the trampoline in a hole. So it's flat with the right. ground level. Right. So you're not falling off of the trampoline. Right. That's so scary. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. They also have the nets now, too. Yeah. yeah Pussies. The yeah, the nets are weak. That fear of danger was, was, the, was the best. It was like jumping off roofs. Did you guys ever jump off roofs when you were a kid? Like jump off the garage roof or something? No. I was scared of everything. <laughs> Yeah, that's also not, like, really a a girly thing, you know, not, like, girly, but, like, that's usually a lot of young boys are like, let me see if I can jump off the roof, you know? How do you jump off a roof? (laughs) 
Like, how do you land that? He would jump into a pool or something like that. Oh, into a pool. Yeah, oh. you jump off like the, the jump off the roof of the house and in, into the pool in the backyard. That's so scary. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, so what, who'd, who'd you who'd you grow up with? Fucking evil Knievel? What are you talking about? <laughs> Hey, for this next one, have you ever, uh, did you ever have a jetpack? And you, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> did you have a car? Did you have a pool growing up, car? I had an above ground pool. Oh. Yes. Oh. You and me That's both, it. kid. Game over. Garbage. You had an in ground. Yeah. Trash. No, no. Carly, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Settle something for me. Okay. Tell me that the feeling of jumping into an above-ground pool in the summer isn't better than jumping into an, an, an below-ground pool because it's so much cooler and refreshing. Well, isn't it? They're not heated. But yeah. Also, it's a lot more work to get into an above-ground pool. <laughs> so it's like feels better when there's you get the, in. You're like, I climbed for this. There's you a know? payoff. Yeah. It's not just, oh, I'm going to walk in my backyard and then jump in you got to climb up a ladder <laughs> which is know. usually made of aluminum and it's right. not sturdy right well Listen, my parents my the parents only people i've heard say an above ground pool is better than an in ground pool are people with the above, that's above ground pool people yeah i mean yeah to be fair i've never had an in ground pool yeah it's fantastic no, I've been in that. <laughs> <laughs> she's, yeah, trying, she's like, don't get me wrong. I've been in a pool before. I, I think she's never been in a pool. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not Listen, you keep it. working hard. One of these days. <laughs> you spent all the gonna... money on the exposed brick. Get yourself an in-ground pool. <laughs> One of these days, you're, you're going to know somebody with, a, a, yeah. with an underground pool. In Long this, Island, yeah. This is how trashy my parents are. All right, Now, we had a legit above ground pool when i was re when i was young that had like the aluminum deck built onto it and wow. that thing was like working on the empire state building in the 20s <laughs> it was fucking dangerous but get shit. when they we got one when i was like just out of high school so what they did is they buried the pool like three feet in the ground oh my god my and, dad did the same thing and then built <laughs> and then built a deck around it so now we're rocking the above ground in ground baby yeah yeah, you trampolined it is what you did. You did the yeah. same concept of the trampoline. My dad did the same thing. He dug he dug it in. So it's like three probably three feet above the ground. That's awesome. So. You know? Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Yes, I'm so glad you had an above ground pool. He always makes fun of me because of that. Yeah. No, I don't make uh, yeah, they're trash. It's the trash this it's the second trashiest pool you could have. The other one is like the blow up one that you put, you know, like the one that can, you can be. Those things ain't like bad a, in the summer. Oh, they're, nice. they're, it's not bad. Of sure. Of course. But if we're ranking pools, that's definitely the last pool. <laughs> right. Right. You know, and then, uh, and then uh, uh, above ground, then in ground, like a gentleman. Um, yeah. I like a good sprinkler. Sprinklers are all right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Love, love, a sprinkler. A sprinkler. love a sprinkler love a sprinkler which sprinkler did you have did you have this sprinkler oh yeah if you of course. had this sprinkler no i had the the old the wavy the big floppy hand the, yeah i had this one the guys yeah, what, that had the tick, 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 tick. yeah what are you a golf course what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> my dad had one of those in the front yard but the one in the backyard was the yeah. one that we like would run through it was like sure the, the other one's so it's like a fire hose <laughs> yeah, it would take, take you take your calf off one. Yeah, oh, that's oh, great. That's too good. I think All I right. only got one or two more, maybe. We haven't even got out of the house yet. I, this is. I know, but this, we've this we've been, been going so for fun. we're fifty three minutes in here. Guys, it's I okay. I have literally nothing to do. So. <laughs> um, I got one. You ready? Go for it, uh, Carly. Do you own a cactus or any cacti? Oh God! Oh boy! <laughs> okay, first of all, is why is that a trashy thing? Yes. Oh wow! What the fuck? That's huge. I have so many plants. Plants are good. Cactuses are garbage. Why are cactuses garbage? Cactuses are the best. You think? Yeah. I also I don't. Always... This, I also don't think Foley has a reasoning for why they're garbage. This is the second yeah. time he's asked this question, and he really doesn't have an excuse for it. He well, just goes, oh, trash. They're, they're the easiest to take care of, kind of. I feel, like you only get cact I feel like you only get cactuses that, like, 
like renaissance fairs or like state fairs or like <laughs> no dude that is the stupidest thing i've that is such a, above ground pool mentality that i i don't even know what to say to that all what right does the renaissance have to do with cactuses it you know it's a car come on you know the, the renaissance, renaissance the, the renaissance took place in arizona everybody knows that Near Amarillo. <laughs> yeah. You get a... Oh my god. All right. Here's the here's the real reason why. Okay. This is like uh, this is like a, a boogeyman story for garbage people. When I was a kid, we were always told to be wary of cactuses because one of my mom's friends of a friend, you know, some lady that cut her hair or whatever, would tell a story about her sister one time brought a cactus home from somewhere, bought a cactus, Not brought a it home. Fair, right. <laughs> and she noticed over a couple of days that the cactus was like pulsating a little bit. All right. And then one day she went to work and she came home and the cactus had exploded and there was thousands of baby scorpions everywhere in the house. What? That's yep. an old wives tale. That happened that happened to my 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 aunt's friend too, dude. That is such an old wives tale. I know. It's like that a garbage never it's like garbage folklore. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> never happened. That's, that's what, what like what... old Irish Catholic women say to scare you like cuz right. that's that's so not even a thing. Well, that's, that's why I think they're garbage. Wow, I mean, yeah. So yeah, that's scary. <laughs> That's so crazy. Um, I'm, Kippy, I'm what do you got? Research on that, by the way. I, I think I've, it, that's totally debunked. Um, all right, did you have a sweet sixteen growing up? No. No. Okay. Good. I didn't have a sweet sixteen, um, but we went to Florida for my sixteenth birthday. On the coast or like inland? Um, we went to Universal Studios at at, at the Hard Rock Hotel. Class, okay, that's that's, that's, that's legit. That's, That's legit. That yeah. was what my parents had said. Do you want to have a sweet 16 or do you want to go away? And I was like, I literally have no friends. <laughs> so why would I have a sweet 16? So then we went to Florida instead. That's awesome. Because they're big That's out in Long Island, right? Sweet 16s are, are, are oh, like, yeah. they're, they're. Sweet 16s, bar mitzvahs, all of that. All, we, we love a party. Yeah. Have you guys ever heard of a Kissimmee St. Cloud in Florida? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I would say, I don't even know what those words were. Kissimmee? Kissimmee St. Cloud. It's a, it's a destination of Florida that isn't like Disney World or Universal or it's the Hard Rock. It's Kissimmee. And it's, yeah, Kissimmee. Yeah, Kissimmee. I don't yeah. know how to pronounce it. It's not on the coast. It's like, it's like a, I remember when people would say, we're, when people would tell me they're going there for vacation, I was like, what the fuck? What are you going to You're going to go to mainland Florida? Right. Not even on the coast? And it's so much hotter. Yeah. We're not on the water. I've only been there. I've only ever been to Disney and Miami. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Both good. Um, all right. I got, I got one more. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Did anybody in your family play scratch off lottery tickets? No. Oh, no lottery winners in your family. No. All we used right. to get, That's we used to get good. scratchers. We still do for like in our stocking at Christmas. Every right. birthday yeah. card. I yeah. My it's stepdad so will put a couple in there. The gas station by my parents' house, I remember there was, oh, for my whole life, every single day, there was a guy there doing scratch-off tickets at yeah. the counter all day, yeah. every day. I know. And it was like, he had like one in like the 80s or the 90s or something. He won like $10,000. And it keeps them coming back. I used to work. Like every single day. I used to work at a, a supermarket outside of Philly when I was in high school and they had implemented, they used to have to come to you to buy them. And then they put the machine in at one right. point and the machine they had, they had it figured out to when the machine would be restocked with the new wheels of tickets. Yeah. And the people thought that the beginning tickets on the wheel were the lucky ones. They were the winners. Oh God. So they found out like the, 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 the change, the schedule of deliveries that they would go up and they would wait in line and fight with each other. Like, I want the winners. I want. And I was just sitting there did like, you're all win? losers. Did anybody no. even win? No, yeah. they would win like 10 bucks, five bucks. I mean, they'd spend 100 and win a free ticket, you know? Right, you uh, win like $5. Yeah. Yeah, it's... every once in a while we'll get like during Christmas or whatever, oh, here's a scratch off. But other than that, no, nobody played it. I always want to know too. I think that's a garbage thing because like, you know, it's like the, the hope that you're going to win like 
$5 million or whatever. I don't think like really rich people are doing that on Christmas. No, no. Yeah, no. That's why I asked if she had any lottery winners in your family, because no matter how much money you get, Lottery winners are always fucking garbage. Oh, they're, God, all, they're always. There's a documentary about lottery winners. Yeah, it's how the lottery yeah. changed my life or ruined my life or something. Yeah, and they all do trashy different. things with the money. It's not like it goes right into like some like investment portfolio. No, no. They buy houses for all yeah. their other family members, like in the same cul-de-sac. Yeah, and then they and then they're broke. Yeah, yeah they, they all go broke. They, they end up they, shooting they, each other. I think like two million dollars is like. Two hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah. You know? They spend it like they're gonna keep making two billion dollars every right. year. <laughs> Man, yeah. if I won the lottery, I would be fucking dude. You? I'd be I'd Sunny D. What do you mean? I'd have fucking <laughs> cases of it. Case of Sunny D. A case of Sunny D. And head to Disney World. Yeah. I'd it's buy up all the cactuses in the world and and throw them out to sea and cut them in half and see if there's scorpions inside. That's right, Carly. I can't thank you enough, man. This was so much fun. All right. Normally, normally we get out of the house. We're going around to different things. That was so much fun that we, that we, that we just, it was all childhood. It was all in the house. I fucking loved it, man. That was so much fun. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you guys for having me. I had a lot of fun too. Thanks anything so much for that doing you, it. Anything that you want to tell the folks about? I know you got the, the Secret Keepers podcast. Anything coming up? I know we're in a little bit of a, a standstill right now. Um, coming up, I'm going to my living room. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the next two it. months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hope two months. I hope it's not longer. I'm praying on. At first, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a couple weeks, and then I'm like, no. That's the novelty is wearing off. The novelty I did the same is thing, really yeah. wearing off. Yeah. 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 Another another month, I'd be happy if it, if it was over. If we're like oh, yeah. peaks, if we're like peak summer. Yeah. That's gonna fucking suck. Yeah, it's gonna get to the point where people are just gonna start fucking going out again. That's yeah, just saying fuck it. Because yeah. nobody's listening in the first place. It should have just been like everybody in the whole country had, has to stay inside. But Started now, like, it off, yeah. I mean, people in Florida are still going out. You know what I'm saying? Until like a few days ago. They finally put them on lockdown. So it's just like it's, it's going to get worse before it gets better. But it'll be fine. We were laughing the other day about the, the governor of, of, of Georgia. Is that who it was or was it the mayor of Atlanta? Did you see this, Carly? I, I think it was the governor of Georgia. Like literally like two days ago was like, I didn't know that you could, <laughs> you could pass it if you weren't showing symptoms. I'm like, motherfucker, I knew that two, two weeks ago. I knew oh. that. Yeah, we knew that a month ago. I know, and he's like, <laughs> he just I'm played sorry. stupid, man. Yeah. That's garbage. Just play dumb think- for the cameras. Jesus Christ. Even if he didn't know that, why would you say it? <laughs> Dude, it's, cra- it's crazy. <laughs> Never say it. It's legit crazy. Yeah, oh, I don't know. People that live there must feel so happy right now. Oh, oh my God. Man, it's, got to, it's nuts. So much fun. Kippy, anything uh, we got to tell him? Yeah, guys, thank you so much for listening. Please rate, review, subscribe uh, on iTunes. You can follow us on Spotify, uh, wherever you listen to podcasts. Also, the videos will be up on YouTube uh, the same day it comes out on audio. So please, you know, subscribe, comment, give us a thumbs up there. We appreciate all the support. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate you guys very much. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you check us out on YouTube. Watch the podcast. You got nothing else to do. Check it out. Carly Aquilino, buddy, thank you so much for coming and talking to us. It was so much fun. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys soon, okay? All right. right, This is what I want to guess what I keep wanting to tell you. You know what's awkward about this is the the second before you hit the leave. Because like when when you do these like (laughs) FaceTime things, you always say goodbye. You're like, okay, bye. And then it takes you. Just a second to like fumble to the leaf thing and i always yeah. feel like i look like an idiot like you always make like that weird awkward eye contact right before you hang yeah up. everybody leans in all right see you see you yeah it's so it's like you're like all right i, I love you <laughs> <laughs> i love so, you guys have a good one happy quarantine so all right let's all do it together you ready all right uh, we're all hold on. on i just want to let you know we'll still i have to hit stop we'll, there's gonna be another second where we're still in here but all right all right go all right one, see you, everyone on three one <laughs> okay. two three